What's going on, everybody? Sully Yaka here, and I am here at the Sand Spirit boat ramp. Um, over here, there's a, a park. If you can see it over here, park over here. There's some fishing docks over here and over there. Uh, there's a fishing dock there and there. And um, I'm actually not really here to fish. I'm actually to see about the boat ramp and see if it's still closed. All that, all this crazy stuff that's going on. You know, I wanna, I want people to be informed, and I'm trying to understand what is going on. I did see a police officer over here at the boat ramp, but I also did see boats at the boat ramp. So I don't know if people can access the boat ramp or what's going on. So we're going to find out. And um, if you don't know, uh, I have right here, I have the executive order right here. And, um, and I've got questions and hopefully they've got answers and we'll figure that out. So don't forget, hit that like, share, and that subscribe button, all that good stuff. And I'm going to get out of here, and we're going to let you see what's going on. Sully Ecker, no, uh, Sully Ecker, deuces. Yeah, it's not the most beautiful day today. It was not like yesterday. Yesterday was beautiful. Today, yeah, it's just a little gloomy and cloudy and nasty. So, but as you can see, there have been boats here. There's one here, one there, a few more here. But uh, the boat ramp is pretty empty. So, like I said, it's more about trying to understand what's going on and what we can and can't do and un from what I understand about this executive order is that there's only four counties four there's Palm Beach County Miami-Dade County uh, Broward County yeah Broward County and Monroe County which is down in the Keys area and yeah there's not a whole lot of boats here so we're, we're gonna go over and we're gonna go talk to the officer and see what he's got to say but um, there's only four counties within within this um this executive order that they are still allowed to enforce some of the you know whether it be boat ramp closures uh porpoise i know most of y'all probably ain't gonna be able to see that but we had a nice little porpoise out here Let's see if he comes back up He moved along, but anyway, we're gonna move along. And like I said, there's there's gotta there's gotta be for all these counties that have this. All the other counties should be opening up their doors and all that stuff. So um, I've heard of uh, Volusia County; they've reopened their beaches. Um, so if they're gonna be reopening the beaches in Daytona, all the counties around Florida need to open their beaches except for the four that I'd mentioned. So those four are the only four that I believe that are probably going to stay off limits mainly because of the executive order. And that's what this is all about is what the executive order says. So like I said, we're going to go over here to this, this uh, police officer and we're going to try to figure out if, uh, if the, the executive order has lifted this boat ramps friggin' uh, little, uh, whatever, or ban, or whatever they want to call it. But, yeah, like I said, other than that, man, it's not, it's not that it's a bad day, it's just really cloudy, and it's not really a fun day. I'd rather have it sunny and sunshiny and having a great day, so...
what's up, man? Hey, how you doing? Good. Yeah. Hey, are the boat ramp, is the boat ramp open? No, the boat ramp's in place. Um, even through the executive order that just passed? Because I know that in the executive order, they've got the four counties. They've got, like, Palm Beach, Miami-Dade, Broward, and um, Monroe. Right. It's, and it's done by the, the, by the county. Who? By the county. The county commissioners is the ones? Yes. But even that... I believe they're going to be open tomorrow, so the best way to do it is just watch, watch, you can't let Yeah, it yeah. It. Yeah, I mean, it, well, I called yesterday, and I told them I was going to come out here fishing, and nobody ever called me back, and now I'm out here, and there's people out here fishing and doing all the things that we're allowed to do, yeah. and the same principle with the boating, of, like, whatever the, I heard about something about they can't control people out on the water, and um, if... You know, like, I know I get it, but they've opened the beaches, and I, I'm about to go to the beach and find that out as well. Have they opened the, not uh, the Volusia, area? in Volusia County, they've opened the beaches, and okay. uh, there's about a few other counties that have opened it. Yeah, and like I, like I just told him, I mean, things are changing daily. Yeah. What I heard, the boat rooms may be open tomorrow, so, okay. I mean, the best way to do it is just watch it. I mean, our beaches are closed right now, but again, they could, they could open. I mean, right. I don't know what Volusia County has going on, so. Well, no, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, just like the, the preemption for gun laws, the same principle when there's an executive order that comes from the state, no city, county, town can create their own gun laws. Right. Same principle with this, unless you're within that, um, that executive order, which are those four counties, everybody should be opening their beaches. And that's what I've even called the state, and I'm trying to get their, city, their state attorney on the phone so I can, because it, it, this... Yeah, because it, it, it's affecting, you know, people just want to, if people want to get themselves sick, go ahead, get, the, get yourself right, sick. Right. But, you know, at the same time, people, like, I'm out of work, so. Yeah, absolutely. There's I mean, people that don't have a job, and we're looking for some kind of relief, and, yeah. you know. No, I mean, I get it. Like I said, I mean, unfortunately, I don't even think it's so much just people fishing. I think it's just kind of like the congregating at the sandbars. Right. Like that, and, 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 I was down in Peanut Island, down there at the sandbar, down in, uh, uh, right off of Blue Heron, and the boat ramp was open, but they're, the park there, they're like, no, no, you can't go there and fish, you can't do anything, and I'm like, right. I'm like, you'll let everybody in the 3,000 people on that island hang out, but you won't let me right. fish. I and, mean, honestly, here, like, I'm sure you see people are fishing, I yeah, mean, yeah. we're not, we're not I, I mean, people, yeah, and I, I'm sure you're not, it, it's just... Like, I was just like, I don't want to get in trouble, and yeah, yeah. and I'm trying to do things the right way, and right. and I hear about you can't do this, and I'm like, yeah. you know, it's one of those things. I'm just, I'm out here just trying to really um, just see what's going on. Yeah, cause, like I said, I mean, if you, if you want to fish, or even like, we had some guys yesterday fishing over there, I mean, it's not a, it's not a problem. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure the fishing's not the issue, it's so much the boats, and because, yeah, and because the county commissioner said it, right? Or, yeah. or it's coming it's, from the county commissioner. Right, and like right. I said, from what I hear, Congregate in big areas, small areas, group, big groups. Were, the were open and then I don't know if you saw the all yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, whether you think it's right or wrong, I mean, I know there's like a message to everybody's madness. Yeah. You know, so. And they did the same thing. There was uh, something up in Jacksonville where there's another like little sandbar. And sure enough, there was people out, uh, I think it was, I want to say it was FWC, but they were out there snapping pictures and saying, hey, we if we can't control this. Right. And it's in... You know, the people have a responsibility, but at the end of the day, if they're out there getting themselves sick, it's, yeah. you know, that's yeah. their, it's on them. I'm yeah. smart enough not to go out all day, yeah. but I'll, I'm also getting stir crazy, and I'm like, yeah. I got to get out of the house for like 10 minutes or yeah. something, you know? <laughs> it's, it's unfortunate, because I mean, obviously nobody wants to, like, lock anybody in their house or whatever, but I mean, it's just... It, it's, yeah, I, I get it, I get it. it. Let everybody do what they want, or try and... Trying to help control some of it, right? Yeah. I get it. No, we all we all get it. It's just yeah. it's yeah. just we're all going crazy about yeah. it. Some of us are going crazy. My you know. dog, I have kids in California, and they think they text me like, "Oh, I'm going crazy," and I'm like, "Trust me, there's yeah. a reason behind all of this." Like, just don't get too close. Yeah. As soon as you're done, wash your hands. Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. decontaminate yourself. Do whatever you got to do to stay safe. You know, yeah. end of the but, day. I mean, just check frequently. Like I said, I mean, I mean, like I said, we're trying to give people like. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know it's just I know. One of those things where Private property is different. Right. 
right. public when, when the people are in the public and that's why I've seen the shutdowns of a lot of these parks and right. it is to help not get everybody here all in one spot. Yeah, so. and I know they're trying, they're hoping maybe like during the week it won't be so busy, so opening the ramps won't be as big of a deal. But, you know, yeah. So, I mean, it is, for me, it's a give and side, take, give and take. Like, I think it's great, but I also see the other side where yeah. you don't want 5,000 people at the sandbar on top of each other. Right, you know? and that's, and I think that's the problem is that some people are just like, they, they want to go to the sandbar, yeah. but they're still like, oh, we get to the sandbar, they start drinking, the next thing yeah. you know, everybody's hanging out. Everybody's like wrapped around a boat. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's, 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 you know, it's the conscious thinking exactly. about it. I'm not trying to be on that sandbar. I wouldn't yeah. put myself in that position. If they want to do it, yeah, that's on them. Absolutely. But that's how it's going to continue to spread and all that. Yeah. But, and hopefully yeah. here, like the next week, 10 days, it will peak out. Things and in. Down slope. I mean, yeah. That's I mean, what they're saying. That's yeah. what they're saying. So. I, mean, I feel for the people that are out of work. It's like. It's I've been different. out of work for two you weeks, three around, weeks. It's like depressing, like seeing all these businesses closed. Yeah. Like, Empty parking lots. Yep. Yeah. And then once we're past this, then what? Like, people are behind and it's, it's yeah. sad. It's, yeah. it's, it's rough. It's, it's rough. I mean, unfortunately, it's beyond our control because it's not me. It's we'll get back we'll we always rebound yeah, from it it's just know, it's just about how long it takes and the process getting there you yeah, know absolutely, absolutely. all right well thank you very yeah, much for your time like, yeah so appreciate it and, um, yeah no i keep my eyes on the news and i keep my eyes on everything as, yeah. as much as i can i just i had to get out and had to come out and kind of see what's going on if the yeah, boat ramps were still closed it was quieter here than yesterday but there was lots of people at the park and for the most part everybody uses common sense they're walking or their dogs and yeah. not bother anybody as far as that. It's all about I'm just walking around checking out this and then uh, I'll walk around a couple other spots and see what's yeah. going on and yeah. if it's good it's good. If it's bad it's bad, you know. I mean it's Absolutely. we're nothing I can't control it. I'm not yeah. the go, I'm not the governor. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not the president. All right, stay safe. Have a great day. There's probably some wind on here, but um, that's all right. And as you can see, like the the most part of this boat ramp, you can come out to the Sand Spirit Park and you can go and fish and you can do s some of the park activities. Like you know, really, they're really focusing in on that social distancing. They want you to kind of get out and be about and do all the things that you want, but they want you to kind of you know just don't abuse it. I guess at this point, just don't abuse it. I'm not saying. I don't agree with it, I don't personally agree with it, but they are out here and they will enforce it if it's abused, and that's why the boat ramp, I believe, is shut down. You know, I'm not saying the people on the island didn't have the right to go out to the island or use a boat ramp to get to the island, but that's what has happened, and it's I've seen it on social media and a couple other spots where they are out there in huge numbers on a very small confined island and you know that's their right they have that right to go out there and do that but the government is looking at that saying hey well if all these people are going to do it we're going to shut down the boat ramp i don't agree with it but that is what i believe is happening and we're going to go check out a couple more boat ramps and see what's going on check them out uh see if we've got any other closures any reopens a lot of the closures are here in the Stewart, in the Martin County, Stewart area. Um, I won't go very far south, because uh, as soon as I hit Palm Beach, they're all, all those boat ramps are pretty much shut down. So we're going to stick to the Martin County area. I hear a lot of the St. Lucie County um, boat ramps, or a lot of those are open. Um, I believe J.C. Park is one of the ones that is closed. And if you know where J.C. Park and Fort Pierce is, um, that one is, I believe, closed. And I, I may go check that one out too. But for right now, we're just going to stick to Martin County. So we're going to go on our way. We're going to go check out uh, this other boat ramp. I believe it's Shepherd's Park. And we'll see what happens when we get there. So uh, hold on, and we'll be right back. What's up, everybody? Soliaka here, and I'm back here. I'm at Shepherd's Park. Um, out here it looks like the park is open um it looks like the little you know kids park is open there's uh people out here fishing and it looks like the park's open but the boat ramp we're gonna get to the boat ramp and uh the boat ramp looks like it's closed 
So once again, Shepherd's Park, another boat ramp that they've got closed off. So if you were looking to try to get your boat in the water, it is not going to happen. But we're going to get over here, let you all check it out, and let you all see what's going on. As you can see right over here, you got the kids' park over there. You got all this fishing area. This is a long dock. We'll walk back down that way here in a minute. Like I said, we're going to go over here to the boat ramp so you can see that it's closed. And then we'll walk around and let you check out this little cool little spot. I've actually been here. Um, for any of you fishermen out there, I actually met Mark Nichols, the owner and founder of DOA Lures. I met him here when I first moved here, which was actually a really cool, uh, cool time. It is really awesome. Any luck? Nothing? Nice. Nice. Any size? Any size? Any? Eh, almost legal. <laughs> See all the barricades, and you can see the boat ramp close. You know, once again, it just really sucks. It's like it's so weird how some of the boat ramps in St. Lucie County, which is just north of here, are open, but these boat ramps are closed. You know, like it just doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense. I'm not a I'm not a big fan of this. You know. But we're going to just check it out and see what's going on. At least people can get out and get some exercise, do some fishing. So if y'all love to go fish, man, today's the day. Well, maybe not today, but. Oh, yes. Watch your six, watch your six feet, man. You can't. Heaven forbid you're six feet apart, you know. Yeah, yeah. Don't want the police to show up, man. It's a misdemeanor and like $500 fine or something stupid. <laughs> Like I said, I've been here before. This place is really cool. I usually, um, I'll be casting from here over towards those uh, boats and be trying to get in between the docks because that's where all the snooks seem to hang out. But, like I said, we're going to check out this park. It's a really cool park. Um, it used to have bamboo here, but I don't know what happened to the bamboo. It all seems like it disappeared. Today's secret word, unconstitutional. Yeah, here, this is where the bamboo is, or was, like, there was a huge, big old mound of it used to be right here, but now it's just down to very little, we'll get up to it, we'll come over here and check it out, like I said, you got some bamboo here, and they're pretty tall, and, uh, that's an interesting fact, if you are from the county that you reside in, and you don't have a real a if you like if there's no real device on the fishing pole you do not need a fishing license in the county that you reside so if i i live in st lucie county if i have a bamboo fishing pole or whatever 
I do not need a fishing pole or a fishing license in freshwater or saltwater. Cool little fact, most people don't really know about that. There's a few other facts, we'll go through those. But we're going to check out this uh, nice little walkway and all the way around here. You got this nice boardwalk, take nice long walks, hang out. I usually come out here, I catch a lot of bait. When mullet runs here, there's a lot of mullet. A lot of them. They just stack up in here and it's like shooting fish in a barrel. I'll have to get that on video so you guys can see me throw a cast net and I can catch some fish. <laughs> There's the police. You can see a police boat over here. But this is the St. Lucie River. This is kind of where it branches off into the north and the south fork. Um, this is like one of the main exits of all the water. And when you hear about all that blue green algae and all the stuff that's happened, this is where a lot of it just flows out because you have two different forks, you have two different uh, spillways that are just flowing out water and then it all flows through here and then out to the main out to the inlet but this is like one of the main main areas that all that water flowed through and at one time i was driving up and i was up on that bridge that's the big bridge you can see and i looked out over the water and i was like man the water looks really emerald green today so i stopped i turned around went down and got close to the water and there was so much blue green algae that it made the water look like it was remarkably beautiful and those are the scary things about it you know we don't need dirty water we don't want to pollute our water we don't want to kill the, our wildlife and uh, sometimes they just seem to don't want to correct mistakes but I hear they're working on it so hopefully but this is just like I said this is just a long boardwalk that you can walk um, you can actually come out here and fish um, I've, I've fished out here before, I, I caught a lot of jacks, um, but as you get over here towards the structure of these docks, you seem to find a few more snook and maybe some trout, like that one guy was saying, he caught a trout, but there's fish all over here, you know, just giving, it's fishing, it's not catching, some days it's good, some days it's bad. Yeah, just walking along, enjoying the day, getting some exercise, and it's good to see other people out here. That's the that's the cool thing is that you know some people they're doing what they're supposed to do, social distancing, you know whether they're washing their hands, doing all that stuff, you know helping try to you know make sure they don't get sick. Hey, that's on them, you know, but they still want to enjoy life. They're still out here doing the things they love to do. Any luck, guys? <laughs> Wasting bait. Heard that.
Well, we're going to move on. We're going to get over here and we're going to get back to the vehicle and hop back in the vehicle and on to the next boat ramp. I've got about two or three more to go to that are, uh, once again, they, these are major boat ramps that a lot of people access and they try to enjoy their life on the water. And at this point, they can't even get on the water. So I just, you know, once again, I get it. I understand what's going on but I don't agree with how they're doing it, you know? And there's other counties that have opened their boat ramps and opened their beaches. Let's start, you know, let people, you know, just tell people they need to, they just need to friggin' understand what they need to do is just be careful, be, you know, aware of your surroundings and don't try to get around huge groups of people. You know, if you don't want to get it, don't go outside. If you want to enjoy your life, limit yourself to your exposures. You know, you limit yourself, more than likely you're not going to get sick. I'm not a doctor, I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm just saying, don't let, don't let this control your life. You know, enjoy the things that you can still do, because I don't have a job, and I'm just, I got nothing else to do but either go fish, get, go out for a walk, or do something. So, something's better than nothing. But we are going to get out of here, and we're going to be on to the next boat ramp. So we will catch you when we get there. So hold on, stay tuned. Everybody, Solo Yacker here, and I'm here at the, I believe it's the Jensen Beach uh, boat ramp. And FWC and I believe some Martin County sheriffs are already at the entrance blocking it off. But we're going to go over here, and we're going to check it out and see what's going on. See what... Um, See what's going on. So uh, just stay tuned. We're going to check out this boat ramp, see why it's closed and all that good stuff. So I'll check you on the flip side. Just stay tuned. One boat got in. Once again, I think the commercial fishermen are the only ones that are allowed to get into the boat. So, but, it is what it is. And I've been here n numerous times. I actually caught one of the biggest uh, trout I've ever caught right here. It was about 26 inches, and I caught them like right over here in between these little, uh, all these little pylons that you see. That used to be, I guess, there used to be a boat ramp here or a boat, uh, a marina, but unfortunately, there's no marina here anymore. But yeah, like I said, the boat ramp here is definitely shut down. And uh, it just sucks. I mean, just so many people that would like to be on the water can't even be on the water. Today's not the best day for it, but in general, they they can't even get to the water. There are so many boat ramps here in Martin County that are just completely closed. And if anybody that is from the county, Martin County, in the description, go ahead and leave a comment saying what boat ramps you know of that are open so that people can still access the water. But right now, it just, it really sucks for everybody. I mean, it doesn't just suck for one, it just sucks for all. But, it is what it is. This boat ramp's not really that big, and um, there's not really a park attached to it. There's a park over in this direction. But, like I said, I'm not, I'm really more here for the boat ramps and why they're all shut down. If you can see the two guys over here, they're, um, or three, whoever, how many. Uh, they're all there just making sure boats don't come in. But there is one boat, and he, he could be a he could be a commercial fisherman, and he and they are allowed. So commercial fishermen are allowed to go fishing through the boat ramps. But 
anybody else is not. So, somebody forgot their ticks. <laughs> But we're going to go on and we're moving on to the next boat ramp. Keep on keeping on. Boot liquor. <laughs> Guy had like seven, seven emblems, seven, eight emblems of, uh, of, uh, the sheriff thing. I don't know what it is. Don't really care. It's not important. Bootlicker. But we're on to the next spot. So we'll see you in just a minute. What's up, everybody? I'm back. And I'm at the Jensen Beach Causeway right now. And once again, we're just dealing with the same stuff. A lot of the stuff in Martin County, if you know of a boat ramp, please let me know in the description below or in the comments below. But this place shut down. So once again, you can't get in. If you got like a kayak or something, you might be able to throw in. But for the most part, you're shut down. So we're going to flip it around, let y'all see what's going on. Like I said, oh, look at that. That's something different. Boat ramp closed will reopen on Monday. So on Monday, you will be able to come out here and enjoy the boats. No, no, you, on Monday you get to come out here on your boats. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, only on the weekdays? Yeah, for some reason they thought by like, closing on the weekends. It's going to stop something? Yeah. But I walk through here and it's busy as crap. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter. There's, there's too many people in town and they're all out here. The thing is, they close on the weekends, but right now with everybody out being on the weekdays are going to be as busy as the weekends. The weekends, yep. If not busier, because everybody thinks that nobody's going to be out on the weekday. <laughs> oh, let's just go back to normal. Out of the wind, finally. Finally out of the wind. It's actually kind of trying to clear. It's trying to clean up. You can see it's just really cloudy. The sun's trying to poke its head out. You know? But once again, here's the other half of this boat ramp at the Jensen Beach Causeway. There's two sides, two different boat ramps. And both of these boat ramps are closed. They are working on a new kind of like, I guess, bathroom slash like pavilion area over here so that's why you see the fence and this new dock that they're building which will be awesome and I've been fishing here too I've caught numerous fish out in this area but once again um, these don't have the signs that say we'll reopen on Monday so hopefully they are reopened on Monday but as of right now all these are all closed which really sucks you know, it is what it is life goes on but if you were trying to get in the water on a boat in Martin County, you gotta wait till Monday. And I guess what the lady was saying, we're walking backwards to block the wind. But um, you know, on the weekends they close the boat ramps. On the weekdays they leave it open. Kind of silly. Kind of silly. Because what the week on the weekends the coronavirus is in its full effect, like doesn't make any sense it's stupid but whatever you know you got to deal with the bumps and bruises there, that guy's got the right idea he's got his canoe what's going on buddy Sully I can hear I'm at the Veterans Memorial or Veterans Memorial Park or Veter Veterans Memorial boat ramp I'm not really sure which one it is I will put that in the you'll see it you'll, I'll tell you where I'm at but 
I'm here, and unfortunately, this boat ramp as well is closed. This one's in Port St. Lucie, and I'm kind of shocked. So um, we're going to go, and we're going to show you uh, exactly why this or the boat ramp closed. So, And, and we might ask the cop why, if it's going to reopen on Monday. So we'll figure that out. Uh, just stay tuned. I'm going to flip this around, and we'll go from there. Yeah, facility closed in response to COVID-19. All city boat ramps are closed until closed to the public until further notice. City boat ramps remain open to to commercial vessels only at this time. Yeah, yeah. Fun stuff, ain't it? This whole garbage here, all this closing down bo boat ramps and this yeah yeah I don't have a <laughs> what if what if I'm trying to feed my family what do I do then but what if I live here <laughs> you know what I mean like I you're, you're trying to tell me what I can and can't do, and I'm like, hey, I got a boat, I want to get in the water, I want to go catch fish for my family, and this is like prime example of it. The one over there in, uh, on Premier Vista's open. Yeah? Where Premier Vista. Going? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, that further. yeah, further north, huh? Yeah, like the coronavirus is stopping up there. The coronavirus stops up there. Yeah, I'm just saying, it doesn't it doesn't matter where you go, it, you know, to shut it down if you're going to, you know, to shut it down, period, is kind of stupid and pointless. Because if they're going to have that one open, why not all of them? That one's owned by the county? This one's owned by the city. city? Ah, that makes a difference. What, city or county? This is city? Yeah, yeah. You can't even go in there and sit around. Yeah, the one right up here off of Floresta, right? Like, you come through that roundabout and it's right there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that one's the all... They built that place. Yeah, federal... We built that place. They didn't build it. We built it. That's yeah. that's, that's the difference, man. It's like, what these... That was? that was us. The federal government paid for that. I know. I pay the federal government. The federal government takes my money, and then they fix stuff oh, like this. Good luck, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got a wife and two kids. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll we'll see if we get that money. Yeah, we'll see. I get, I get 2200. Yeah. Oh, I ain't worried about spending one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got it. I ain't got nowhere to spend it at. <laughs> Except for on food. Go in the store and see if you can find masks. Who? Oh, yeah, I'm not worried about the mask. I keep my distance. 
I don't go out too much, but, you know, like, the little bit I do go out is to, to fish, you know, and, uh, yeah, there's nothing in yeah, yeah. no, I beg to differ, I've caught, uh, I've caughten 44 inch fish out of here, oh, yeah, right here, oh, okay. right off this dog boat ramp, I was fishing with a, with a little shrimp this big, yeah, and, yeah, I, I, I was fishing with a shrimp, caught a 44-inch snook. Couldn't keep it, but I caught I one. one over there, a bass. Yeah, yeah. That was half an inch too short. Yeah, that's, that's the story of my yeah, life. Was up the other end of the dock. Yeah, right? <laughs> Step on them, they stretch out a little bit. <laughs> well, you all take it easy, all right? Hey, do you know if they open these things up on Mondays, like through the weekdays? Because I know that there's a few in uh, Martin County that open on the weekdays, but they close them on the weekends. Um, I don't believe so. I believe they say it's going to be shut down for the uh, until something changes. There might not be an officer here, but they're, but they're going to have the barricades up. All right. Yeah. I think they're still. I'm pretty sure they're still commercial. Commercial. Yeah, I heard about the commercial. No, I just I I heard about the um like the four different counties like all south Palm Beach, Broward, Monroe, and Miami Dade that they had to abide by the the order that was issued. And I'm trying to figure out like I've heard in Volusia County and a couple other counties they've opened up their beaches. Oh really? And that's why I'm like I'm trying to go around trying to figure out because I hear it changes from like day to day, so it could change tomorrow. It could change a week from now. I'm just I'm out here and I'm trying to figure out where I can throw a boat in, you know what I mean? Yeah. And at this point, I'm not looking like I can get a boat in too too easy. Unfortunately not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, back. Yeah, I saw this uh, the other day before they shut all this down. Yeah. So, but yeah, no, I just wanted to come and check it out, see what was going on, and if there was uh, if it was just for the weekend or if it was for the weekdays or whatnot. So. Yeah, like I said, I believe through the week it's still shut down, uh, but I know they only have us out here. Okay. Yeah, because that's your prime, like, that's when everybody's trying to get in. Yeah, it's, today's not a good day for boating. I mean, it's okay, but it's not that great. Yeah. Yeah. All right, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you.